Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> we are gathered here today to join in holy matrimony, Drew Torres and Bianca D'Souza. <laughs> Promise me you goofs won't have a giggle fit at your real wedding. <laughs> We're good. Okay, then can we get along with this rehearsal, please? If anyone here should object to this union, let them speak now or forever hold their peace. Make a potato, make a potato! Got it, aya! Okay, no objections, seeing as my mom's not here. And won't be in Vegas either. Right. And next up, your vows. You're writing your own? Written. Um, working on it. And then you exchange the rings and kiss the bride. Uh, that I can handle. Mamma mia! Okay, hey, good. Stop. <laughs> now, let's all get ready for Las Vegas. You ready? Yep, I just gotta go home and get my suit. What is it? We won seven plane tickets to Vegas. We only filled five seats. If we tell your folks about the wedding, they're gonna try to stop it, Drew. Yeah, you're right. Stupid idea. It's you and me against the world, okay? Yeah, you're right. And in two days, we'll be hitched. Nothing can stop us. that in five hours we're going to be swimming in the ocean. You think it'll be packed by then? What, you'd rather I bring no clothes to Puerto Vallarta? <laughs> Ew, gross. Can't you guys just wait till you get a room? Aw, you guys want the house to yourself so you can hold hands? <sighs> I'm actually on the way to the train station back to campus casing. Boyfriend gone, sister gone. Band scattered and no other friends to speak of. We'll be back before you know it. Oh. Since you're being, you know, nice for once, this came for you in the mail. You didn't apply, did you? Apply where? Uh, well, you know, when I lost soccer and rehab, I, I don't know, I took a risk. There's no way I... I got in. Oh, my yeah. God, I got in! <laughs> where, why are we jumping? Stanford! Where I always wanted to go for soccer, it, it's my, my dream school. So you're off to be... Marty Pants in California next year. And we can celebrate all week in Mexico after I tell my parents the good news. <laughs> yeah. Just think, before you know it, you'll be Mr. Bianca D'Souza. You're hilarious. No, hilarious would be mom finding out. Well, she can't. She would stop the wedding. She thinks bees trail the trash. I think that's a bit of an exaggeration. All right, do we have everything to make it look like we're going camping? Uh, tents, sleeping bags, tarps. Crap, I forgot the iPad. Adam, hurry up, man. She'll be home any second. I know, I need to Skype Becky with it. Okay. Ready? Got it, let's go. Adam, you still here? Sorry. Adam. Oh, true. Long time no see. Mom? Actually, I'm glad you guys are here. I uh, got you a little something. Camp stove. <laughs> Thanks, but I can start a fire. Well, what if it rains? Well, then I'll figure it out. Trust me. Trust you. Well, this year you've uh, dropped out of school, got engaged. Who knows what crazy thing you'll do next? Stanford. <laughs> we are so proud of you, honey. So proud. But no matter how we run the numbers, even with financial aid, a university like this is going to cost 20000 a year, 80 for four. OK, well, um, what if I got a job? I could flip burgers or a crap load of burgers. With our mortgage and my medical bills. I know, it was a pipe dream anyway. I'm so sorry, sweetie pie. I, there's no way we can afford this. No, it's okay, mom. I'll just uh, go to Mexico and forget I even applied. You have a good time on your trip, okay? Thanks, see you. you look after her, Jake. I will. <laughs> Thank you. 
hey, hey, she said they saved like, what, $5,000 for you to stay home and go to you? I mean, university's university, right? Yeah, you know, let's just drop it. I don't want these stupid money problems to ruin our spring break. Drew's 20 minutes late. What if he ran into Audra and she's trying to talk him out of it? I'm pinning you. Stay calm. Oh, my goodness. What? What happened? You make such a beautiful bride. Thank you, but I won't be calm until we're on that plane away from all the Audras and Katies and all of the haters who've ever tried to come between us. Relax. I told everyone the flight was 20 minutes earlier than it is. We'll make it with time to spare. I'm so glad we made you our wedding planner. You're like a boring details genius. No, no, no. How can our flight be canceled? Ugh. Hurricane Stephanie hit the Gulf. No flights in or out of Mexico. Well, now what a staycation? Does anybody have inline skates? <laughs> no, no. We're definitely going somewhere, okay? We just have to switch our flights and hotels. And then we just have to pick somewhere to go. So, Paris. A few more pesos than Puerto Vallarta. Mm -hmm. Vancouver? We, we could see those trees that are big enough to drive cars through. And spend spring break in the rain? Okay, Point Marisol. Uh, what about Vegas? Really? We're underage. We can't do much there. No, no, no. There's like paintballing and, and roller coasters. It's practically like a giant amusement park there. Plus, there's pools and spas and shopping. Mm. Plus, I might be able to win my tuition at Blackjack. Say what? Okay, guys, remember when I like ruled the Blackjack table at Degrassi's Vegas night? Yeah, you had crazy luck that night. No, but it wasn't crazy luck. My grandfather lived in Reno and he won a small fortune counting cards and he taught me. Isn't that illegal? Technically, no. And plus, I have like five hours on the plane to practice. Come on, guys, I got into the school of my dreams and I can't afford it. Okay, I know, I know it sounds crazy, but I at least have to try, right? Please, 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 please. Yay! You are the light of my life. Isn't that a bit cliche? So I read Bianca's vows. She's basically like Shakespeare, except she's female and she's less dead. Remember that one year that Uncle Tony had his groomsmen sing his vows? Four-part harmony? Oh, that's so romantic. <laughs> Maybe you could do that. Well, yeah, except I have one groomsman, and, well, he can't hold a note. Oh. Hey, watch it. Talk like that and you won't have any. Uh, all right, guys, can we just stop talking so I can work on my vows? Sorry, I, I guess I'm just used to big tourist weddings up at the cottage. The cousins running around. Yeah, well, um, this is going to be a different type of wedding, Adam. But it'll be great, as long as Bianca's happy. Oh, dear God, no. What a crazy coincidence. Okay, if Marisol's here, that means Katie cannot be far behind. Bianca cannot see her. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome aboard your flight from Toronto to Las Vegas. Please ensure your luggage is securely stowed. How are you on this plane? Please, please tell me Katie's not here. Wait, wait, where is she now? The washroom? Oh, God. No freaking way. Oh, no. Oh, Katie, what are the odds that you're on the same flight we were taking to our wedding? Your wedding? Wait, you're serious? I mean, you know, this doesn't have to be weird. Yeah, sure. Three months ago, we dated, but a few months ago, Jake was with Claire, and now they're kind of related, so you and you and Jake kind of, you know, you guys date. Yeah, what, what I'm trying to say here? He knows that we're all friends, right? And we're all going to Vegas. It should be awesome. Yeah, you guys should come to the wedding. Seriously? And uh, Jake, Jake and Mo, you guys, you guys should come to my bachelor party tonight. Oh, fun. Yeah. And uh, oh, Katie, maybe, maybe you and uh, Marisol could go to Bianca's bachelor party. No, no, or not? Oh, I mean, we should all just chill. The, uh, the window seat or, or a blanket or something. Why would you do that? I was 
just trying to make things less weird. By inviting your ex to our wedding? I, Adam, Adam said stuff about a big Torah's wedding. I, I thought a few more people wouldn't hurt. Okay, so you want a big wedding or you didn't want it to be weird? I don't know, okay? I panicked. I did it for you. You know what you could do for me? Leave me alone for the next five hours so I can get my beauty rest. Oh, and don't go inviting any of your exes to come spoon with me, okay? Thank you. This is gonna be a bumpy ride. machines in the airport. I've seen seven Hummer limos since I got here, and showgirls just walk around like it's nothing. Let's get this bachelor party started. Uh, I think I need a second. Right. Well, you do that. I'm gonna Skype back. You let her know we got here safely. Sounds like a plan. Can't stay mad forever. Sounds like a challenge. Look, come on. I know I messed up, but at least we'll have a few more people at our wedding. What happened to you and me against the world? You're all I need. Okay, but isn't it a little bit weird we're having such a small wedding? So Mo, Jake, Marisol, and freaking Katie are your <sighs> ideal guests. No, no, but but at least they'll come. Come on, they want to support us. That's something, isn't it? Hi. Da, da, da. Only fools rush in, cause I can't help. Da, 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 da. They are singing our song. That means you have to forgive me. Fine. I forgive you. As long as you and I are at the altar, I guess it doesn't really matter who else is there. A wedding? Can we come too? Sure. Why not? Oh, goody. I love me a wedding. So you're not mad anymore? No. Good. Thanks. Why don't we take our honeymoon suite for a little test drive? Adam's waiting to take you to your bachelor party. And we're waiting to take Bianca to her bachelorette party. Oh, and phone please, you and your fiance are incommunicado until the wedding tomorrow. Thank you. You'll take the bags up to the room? Yes, ma'am. Have fun tonight, but not too much fun. I love you. I love you too. Bye, boys. See ya. Minus one, plus one, plus one, plus seven. Nailed it. Yes! <laughs> Jackpot! Tiny soaps, body scrubs, it's gonna be sick. Oh, the smallest things amuse you. Whatever, lady. No one likes my silky smooth skin more than you. Are you wearing anything under that? Oh. Bam! <laughs> like I'm gonna let you see the show for free. Let's go get those buffet braces before we head out. Hey, only real way to beat the house, pay 25 bucks for a meal, eat 50 bucks of food. Jake, I can do this, okay? Okay. I know it. Okay, just be cautious here, okay? Okay. So, tell me again how you plan on winning 20 grand off of $200 in traveler's checks. Uh, I'm gonna use my savings. Your university money? Well, what if you lose? I mean, counting cards, you're no Sheldon Cooper. No, it's easy. You just keep a single number in your head and then you subtract one for every face card or 10 you see, and then add one for every non-face card and then bet big when the number's high. Because you're more likely to get a 10 or a face card. Exactly. See, even you get it. Okay, but what about this? You have to be 21 to gamble. Not if you have a fake ID. Where did you get that? Um, when Bianca and I went to the club. Oh, you mean before you two were arch enemies? Yeah. Are you ready to look older or what? Mm. Not so fast. ID. Uh, yeah. Maria Alvarez, you're a Gemini. Uh, Taurus. May 20th is on the cusp. Hmm. What's your, uh, what do they call in Winnipeg? Postal code? 
Uh, easy, Hector. They're with me. Thanks. Oh, sure thing, Mr. Howe. Uh, you mind if I join you, Maria? Uh, not at all. As long as you don't mind watching me win. I don't mind watching you at all. There you go. I don't want to do that again. He's gonna roast me or something. Oh. Um, sure. Yeah. Getting married at 18? <laughs> it's like finally getting to the buffet of life and being like, nah, it's cool, man. I'll just have this one piece of toast forever. <laughs> <laughs> New game. Um, uh, favorite memory of me. <laughs> How about that time you brought dog biscuits to school for lunch? Okay. Uh, I was eight, and we promised that would never go public. Uh. Um, Mo. Remember that time you drank the hot sauce? That was hilarious. <laughs> that was right now. A couple seconds ago, yeah. Yeah. Jake? Anything, buddy? Come on. Okay. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that I did it video, which was that? You know, which was actually about you sleeping with my girlfriend. We, we don't. We... Guys, come on. You're supposed to make this special. At this time, I'd like to call to the stage tonight's bachelors, Mr. Drew Torres and Mr. Steve Patel. <laughs> We're all with you? you leave no man behind. Not that easy, is it? Excuse me? Ah, uh, your lips are moving. It's okay, I won't tell anyone. Do you want to have drinks after? Yeah, put it on ice, pal. I'm sorry, I was talking to Maria Alvarez, was it? Uh, my name's Katie Matlin. Darren. And uh, while we're being honest, I'm, I have a boyfriend, and I'm actually here to win my tuition for Stanford next year. Hey, go Cardinal. I used to go there for two years until I had to drop out because my startup blew up. Oh my god, you're Darren Howe? You invented face ring? Anyways, I got a thing. Um, if you want some advice, you want to win your tuition back, you got to bet bigger. Risk equals reward. That's a thousand dollars. Yeah, you're worth it. <laughs> if you change your mind about drinks. Once you know what matters, and you really know that nothing matters. Once you know what matters, it's the only thing that really matters. We can be together now, so help me out. Once you say forever, that's the first that we tell each other. Once you say forever, that's the first that we tell each other. We can be together now, so help me Katie, what happened? I just, I hit a bad run, but don't worry, because the count's plus nine now. That means that there's mostly face cards left, remember? I'd like to split. Okay. Okay, but that's all of your money. Gotta get out of this hole, Mayor. 20. 20. Okay. Come on. Nine, come on, come on, come on, 11, come on, come on, come on. 15. 21. No, 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 no. House wins. It's a That was every cent my parents ever saved for me. What am I going to do? I don't know. You really messed up. Thanks, Mary. You're supposed to be comforting me. You know, how is it even possible that stupid Drew has his life more together than I do? OK, that is not true. He has a job. He's getting married. I I can't even afford to go to TU anymore. Look, this is Vegas. There has to be some way you can get the money back. Oh, yeah, let me just become a showgirl. <sighs> you know what? There is one thing I could do. 
don't know, Mary, he's a billionaire. Maybe he has a job for me or something. Hi, Darren, um, this is Katie. I remember how you told me to take a risk. This here's my brother, Paul. My bride to be Angie's brother, Tom. This here's my dad, Steve. Hey, Nice, right, so everyone's here but your mom. Oh, yeah, she's out with Angie right now. Probably stuffing dollar bills in a G-string, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, they, they do that together? They do everything together. They're family. Uh, my mom and fiance, they don't even talk. Actually, my mom doesn't even know I'm getting married. I tell my mom everything. Yeah, yeah, we used to be close. At my football games, she was the loudest cheerleader. We used to go camping all the time. I don't know, lately she's just been on my case for everything. She's got my dad on her side, too. If I eloped, my mom would disown me. Hey, man! Love conquers all, right? Uh, good luck tomorrow. Thanks. All right. The most gonna be here in five minutes. Take us to glow in the dark paintball. Yeah, uh, give me a minute. I need to make a quick call. Hey, I, I guess you're busy right now. I just, I think we're making a huge mistake.